morning guys and welcome to another road trip video. I'm gonna say is my high mileage Raptor road trip video. We've got 118, 500,000 miles on this truck. So far my ownership has been awesome. After this trip down uh, to Florida and back, we're gonna add at least 2,000 miles, probably 2,500, I guess if you're wondering. We're gonna do a little documentation on how the truck's doing, how I like to road trip, and uh, how things are going. But I don't know if you guys can tell, but it is uh, rainy and dreary and wet. Truck is doing tremendously, as you guys might imagine. Uh, this actually, when I bought it, was generally a, a highway mild vehicle. Uh, 100,000 miles in like five years. So the guy, I feel like would have had a hard time putting that kind of miles if he was not driving on the highway as much. So for what that's worth, uh, maybe that's part of uh, what why I like this thing is it hasn't been beat up too bad. Uh, we got the cruise set at, well, it's a little over 80 miles an hour right now. And uh, we're getting, I set the trip thing, so we're getting 14 miles a gallon. We've driven uh, about 300 or 320 miles or so. 13.9, you know, which is about pretty much what I always get and 153 miles to empty. And of course the coolant and everything uh, is looking good. The temperatures are looking good. And uh, it is nice having a big old truck with nice tires. The, um, the KO2s, the BF Goodrich KO2s are really good in the rain. They're really good in inclement weather. They're pretty good in the snow. Uh, the rear end of the truck slides around a lot, obviously, because it doesn't really have much weight back there. But having those 35 inch tires it's really nice, uh, especially, you know, I know we're on uh, pavement, but it is really nice having those. One thing I really don't like about this truck, which is kind of a small thing, is the way that the automatic headlights work. As soon as it's remotely light outside, they turn off. And when it's raining or when it's dreary or when it's dawn or dusk, I really would like to have my lights on. You're supposed to have them on. Plus, the Raptor has cool marker lights that you gotta show everyone any chance you get. Uh, to keep those on so um, ooh, that's like a fire truck that's like the front of a fire truck that they have not uh, fully modified yet wow that's kind of cool and uh, we've got the maps here just for now it says about you know just shy of 12 hours to uh, southern Florida I stopped briefly for some coffee alright guys in Kentucky five hours deep uh, first official gas stop and uh, unfortunately it's been literally raining pretty much the whole way I was actually thinking about washing the truck before I left because it's been like two or three weeks but uh, I'm glad I didn't because this thing is absolutely destroyed like you know it's coated with dirt when like there's like no water behavior uh, a wash will take care of that uh, but finally the Sun is coming out I'm gonna get a McDonald's breakfast sandwich because that's my thing I do on long road trips and uh, other than that things are good other than just a shit ton of rain truck is great and it's already 61 degrees out we're uh, we're in Tennessee guys so truck is absolutely dirty destroyed but that's okay uh, over five hours deep so we're doing good Well, I've been pretty lucky given all the rain um, that there hasn't been any significant accidents on my side, but of course there is something up here, unfortunately. Oh, here comes a cop. Must have been a fresh accident. But we're doing good. Truck is doing well. No issue there, literally like at all. Truck is perfectly happy. Um, you know, with the bigger tires, you get a little bit of steering wheel feedback. So on longer trips, you kind of notice that. I wouldn't say it fatigues you. Um, and I think the tires are pretty well balanced. And, um, you know, the alignment seems pretty good. It probably wouldn't hurt to get one. I, I don't know when the last time this truck has had an alignment. So, you know, that could probably help as well. It doesn't hurt to get that done. Maybe after winter time, I'll get that done. Uh, but yeah, so the truck is good. It's always nice. Um, we got like plenty of gas. 
We have uh, 390 miles left in this tank. We're at 14 miles a gallon, so that's about right. And uh, everything's good, except for the windshield coating, I think, after this trip, it's pretty much failed, unfortunately. So I could have probably doubled up on that, but I didn't do that. That's okay. Uh, I'll have to deal with that when I get home. So anyways, other than the accidents and the rain and like a decent amount of traffic, uh, we're doing all right. The Raptor is good. We've seen a bunch of squad, lots of Gen 2s, one or two Gen 1s. No Gen 3s, though. The Gen 3s, uh, I don't know. People don't want to pay, uh, you know, 25 grand over markup, which I can totally understand. So I don't know. I've only seen a couple so far, but none on this trip. So anyways, we're doing good. All right, guys. Through Atlanta, of course, uh, couldn't be more obvious. This is the typical... Atlanta situation traffic everywhere and uh, Not looking so good plus seven minutes and then we got another seven minutes and I already went through several extra ten, seven to ten minute Areas there's literally I wish they had like an interchange or something to go around the city because For people that don't really need to go to Atlanta. It just sucks because you have to really legit go through Atlanta on 75 and traffic at literally any time of day in this city is insane so you know I mean we're literally just putzing around at 15 miles an hour I even stopped earlier just because it's like you're going so slow it's pointless and uh, it's just getting stressful so anyways Atlanta typical situation here and uh, you know we're pushing through pushing th oh that's a cool color that's a cool color you got there. Guys, can you tell I'm getting a little crazy? A little, just a little crazy here. <laughs> oh, all right guys, uh, quick update for you. We took a little detour. We're outside of Atlanta, past Atlanta and the traffic Oh my god, it's like I just want to get there and it's like one thing after the other. There's just so, I guess so many accidents and people like rear-ending each other so it's like rear-ended cars, rear-ended cars, rear, like it's just like non-stop so it makes god it makes traffic just so freaking bad of course you can imagine. So we took a little detour off the highway which only, you know, saves 5 minutes but I can't stand the 0 to 12 miles an hour for like 25 minutes. I just can't do it anymore. So figured we'd take this opportunity, uh, pull, not pull off the road, but you know, this is a detour. Google Maps and Waze said uh, it's approximately the same amount of time, maybe a little bit quicker, whatever. But at least we're moving and uh, we get to see some, you know, Georgia scenery, which is pretty cool. And this freaking sucks. Like, I hate to make videos where you're just pissed off half the video, but geez, man. Never move to freaking Atlanta. Like, if you're ever considering it, <laughs> just don't. Because I can't even drive around the city. Like, I can't even go anywhere. Like, <laughs> it's so frustrating. All right, guys, uh, quick update for you. Feeling a lot better. Roads are a lot quieter here. Uh, we're probably like maybe two hours from the border of Georgia and Florida. The Florida-Georgia line, if you know what I'm saying. And uh, the rain obviously is gone and it's clear and it's flat. Truck is really good though. If you guys are into Raptors, um, this is definitely like, I would say a truck in general is probably a pretty good road trip vehicle, uh, mainly because of the comfort and the space and you know you sit high up so you can see kind of what's going on it's always nice uh you know if you're in rush hour traffic or you're stuck ooh, there was a 911 over there if you're stuck in traffic or whatever you can see around people and you know obviously the driving experience is uh not sporty or whatever i guess this driving experience is a little more sporty than a normal truck but it's pretty good and even with those uh 35 inch tires as i mentioned i don't really get much steering wheel feedback so being on the highway for hours and hours is not as fatiguing as uh, I guess if you had like some aftermarket wheels or some 37s or maybe something like that but even those are pretty good if you get some decent non like mud drain ones about an hour 
out of Florida, so I have approximately five hours left. Uh, maybe one more stop, but I think I'm gonna end the video here. Um, it's gonna be dark when I end the video because I'm gonna get there pretty much close to 10, and uh, mainly that's just because the traffic on like two thirds of this trip and the rain was just horrible. It, take, it takes a while to fill up like 30 gallons of gas. The, the funny thing about a truck, or at least this truck, is it's painful to pay for the gas, but it also takes a long time, like the time. It's like, 50, it feels like 15 minutes to fill the whole tank if you have most of the tank to fill. So uh, that's also one thing that is kind of funny that no one really talks about is how long it actually takes to fill, uh, which is like whatever, first world problem. But anyways, I'm gonna go. Thank you for uh, coming along for the road trip and uh, trying to stay sane here, but we got four and a half hours to go and uh, that'll be it. So thank you guys again. It's been fun and I might do some more videos like this if you guys want, but it's fun to take the truck down to Florida, hang out with the family, and uh, document a little bit of the trip. So anyways, thanks again, and I will see you guys next time. Oh, also, here's a fun fact that I learned many years ago. See that Mercedes? See how the left brake light is like really bright? It looks like, like the brake light is broken on, and like it's stuck on, and then the right one looks normal. That's actually a rear fog light so when you turn your front fog lights on for like a lot of european cars if you like push the button the truck doesn't have fog lights but if you press the fog light button for some vehicles uh the rear actually has one tail light that lights up a little bit more because if there's fog in the front it helps you see for the front fog lights and then the people behind you have an easier time seeing you uh i know audis have that mercedes bmw i think it's a mainly european and I think you can like retrofit it. So I don't know if all the US cars have that, but that is literally a random fact of the day. I see, I've seen older Volvos with that. And I was like, wow, that Volvo, the broken tail light, you know, ha ha. But actually that is lit that's, that's purposeful. That is intentional. And if you pulled the fog light button or if you push the button to turn it off, that rear light would turn off too. So it's actually kind of interesting and uh, fun fact of the day.